so from the pv diagram or tv diagram we can easily conclude that when we heat that particular substance that we were having initially in the piston its properties will change right because it was moving to a different point on property diagram so every state is representing a set of properties so its state is changing so its properties are changing so not only the temperature and specific volume but also internal energy enthalpy entropy all these things will also change now how to determine these values that how much is the value of internal energy or enthalpy or entropy at that point look the properties like pressure temperature and specific volume these are easy to measure because you can directly measure them it's easy to measure how much is this specific volume you just measure the volume you divide it by mass pressure temperature also can be calculated directly they can be measured directly by using appropriate apparatus but for properties like internal energy enthalpy and entropy things are different there is no device which is made which can directly measure the internal energy you cannot just attach a device and it will tell that this much is the internal energy there is no device like this and why is there is no such device because internal energy is a derived concept we made this concept right in uh, entropy is a derived concept we made this concept it's not something which is existing already length pressure temperature these are some uh, you know basic concepts which you can feel which you can see which you can directly measure but these are derived concepts you have to calculate them you cannot measure them you understand the difference between calculate and measure measure means you can directly see the value calculate means you have to do the calculations in order to get that value those are derived parameters so how do you find out that how much is the value of internal energy or enthalpy or entropy at any particular property you have to assign it a value you have to assign that at this point i am saying that this much is the internal energy but that's a very complex thing how do you assign something which is so random i mean there are so many points are you going to assign internal energy to every point and you cannot arbitrarily give any value of internal energy to any point you cannot say that at the same temperature uh, you have some property defined some internal energy defined and just at the at the end point you double the internal energy you cannot do like that change in internal energy change in enthalpy change in entropy these are defined if you look at all the things we studied we were focused on change in enthalpy h2 minus s1 sfe was having h2 minus s1 first law was having delta u entropy we had s2 minus s1 everywhere you might not have noticed that but now you should notice that everywhere we just learned about change in these properties not their absolute value because you have to decide that what is the absolute value that you are going to assign to that but as i told you you cannot just assign a random value to every point you cannot say that here internal energy is u and at this point it is 2u and here it is u by 2 you cannot do like that right because change in internal energy from here to here that is defined change in internal energy from this point to at this end point that is defined that you know from the first law you can calculate but whether at this point internal energy is u or u dash or u double dash that you do not know so what is the best way to calculate it or to assign it a value you define the base level that at this temperature at temperature t i am assigning that internal energy is zero now everything is done because base you have set that u, u is zero at that temperature so if any change occur in property you can calculate delta u delta u means u2 minus u1 and what is one here this is u1 here initial point at that temperature similarly for enthalpy similarly for internal energy so you have to define initial thing first if this is defined you can calculate this and from that u2 means the enthalpy sorry the internal energy or entropy at that point can be defined this can be calculated this you have to assign so what value you assign 
means at what temperature you assign u0 or h0 or s0 that actually depends upon the substance whether it's water whether it is some other liquid whether it is some gas so that is arbitrarily done for different substances different substance will have u is equal to 0 at different temperature because we have assigned it to them so what we are going to do next is that we are going to do, draw a table there is going to be a table where we are going to have different properties listed that this is when this is the saturation pressure this much is the um, when this is the saturation temperature this is the saturation pressure this is the internal energy this is enthalpy this is entropy this is the specific volume this is how we are going to plot it we will start it from a particular point what is that point what is that temperature that you have to define here there you will write whatever is the pressure practically you will know that you will write what is specific volume but you you will assign zero entropy you will assign zero are you getting i will come to enthalpy so this is how we do it for water we assign the base temperature to be 0 0.01 degree celsius and why we are assigning it 0 0.01 degree celsius because this is triple point it is the property of water it is a fixed temperature it cannot change this is the base of the property table that we are going to know about for water for different substance it's going to be different okay you may get uh, confused that how will i compare the internal energy of water at a particular temperature with the internal energy of some other liquid because you are assigning random zero value at random temperature as i told you this condition is never going to come you never have to compare the internal energy of water with internal energy of some other liquid always change will be our priority change in internal energy is what we will be concerned about and change in internal energy does not depend upon the absolute value change will not depend upon what u1 and u2 is it will depend upon what difference of u1 and u2 is 20 minus 0 or 120 minus 100 both of them will give delta u as 20 so change in internal energy is what our concern is so you do not get confused at how will i compare different internal energies or how will i how will i know the absolute value of it that is absolutely not required okay so this is the table that we are going to know about this table is called a steam table for water okay the base of steam table is triple point of water 0 0.01 degree celsius internal energy is assigned zero value entropy is assigned zero value and enthalpy is equal to u plus pv u is zero and at this temperature the specific volume is very less pressure is also very less hence this term is very less almost zero hence we can say h is almost zero so here also h is almost zero it will have a value which is going to be a very small value but you can take it as zero only okay so this is how the base is defined now you do not have to learn all this if question asked you some question the only thing in the steam table that you need to learn is this zero value and when it is occurring point at 0 0.01 degree celsius this is the only thing that is expected from you to learn otherwise every data every property which the question will require will be given to you question will especially give you a you know graph sorry a table a range of values and that is the that are the values which you have to use in the question so this table actually it's a very long table for a lot of temperature we have defined the pressure specific volume and all but all of that is not required for a question for a particular question you will just need the properties at one or maximum two temperatures mm -hmm.